These are the Hoka Aura Lux Recovery Sandals. They're lightweight, highly cushioned, and they're designed to help you recover from your workouts or from injury. But do they work? How comfortable are they? And are they worth the money that they're asking for them? Well, these are the questions that we're going to try to answer today, so be sure to stick around. Hi, I'm Tim, and this is Run Tall. If you're new here, welcome to the Run Tall family. I'm really glad that you are here and you found us on YouTube. Now, I post running shoe reviews, comparisons, shoe battles, and I post those all the time, but I like to post a lot of other videos that are related to running as well, like gear reviews, like this one. So if you're into that kind of thing, consider subscribing to the channel, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I upload new content. So let me start and give you a little bit of context, because I think it's important that you know a little bit about the person who's reviewing the products that you're interested in. So I'm a marathon runner. I love to run and train for marathons. And in my last 16 week training block, I had about a tendonitis that flared up. It was only about seven to 10 days before the Boston Marathon. So I had stopped running completely, but it wasn't enough time for that injury to completely heal. And I went ahead and ran the race anyway. By the time I finished, I couldn't bear any weight on that ankle at all. And so when I got home and I was able to put weight on it again, one of the first things that I reached for was the original Hoka Aura Recovery Sandals. Now this is version one. I'd had them for a couple of years. They'd done a really good job for me. They'd seen me through a number of different injuries, but they had been outdoors and I was looking for a fresh pair. So I went ahead and updated and purchased the Hoka Aura Recovery Sandals version three. Now these are a little bit different. They, they have a lot of similarity still to the first version that we just looked at, but they're a little bit bigger sandal. They weigh significantly more. They're longer. They have a different stra uh, strap up here and you sit down a little bit lower into the footbed. So they have, I'd say raised edges. So you sit down into the foam and the foam does feel a little bit more cushioned than the original version. And then after I posted my thoughts and review of this pair of sandals, I had a number of requests from viewers like you asking if I would review the Hoka Aura Lux Recovery Sandals. Now these are somewhat of a hybrid between version one and version three. They kept some of the traits of each of those different sandals and they added a twist. So let's talk about the similarities and the differences, starting with the most notable difference, and that has to be the adjustable Velcro straps. Now, I think it just makes these a lot more versatile sandal or slide. They're gonna be able to accommodate all different types of foot shapes and sizes. Now, I really appreciate the ability to loosen them up a bit because I wanna wear a pair of socks with these or maybe tighten them up if I wanna go and just wear some sandals. I found them to be really comfortable. Now, they made the material out of what they call Aeroprene. Now, they are somewhat thick, I would say. It's cloth-like material. If you cinch the, the straps down a little bit to get that more custom fit, maybe you like to have a tighter feel on foot. And I oftentimes do like to have that. It eliminates or at least reduces that flip-flop sound that you can get. And sometimes if you're wearing these around the house, that can get a bit annoying to the people that are around you. So I will cinch these down a little bit there just to hold them in place a little better. And oh, and that's the other thing that straps do. So when you're wearing either version one or version three, uh, because they aren't Velcroed, you kind of have to use your toes to hang on to the sandal when you walk to hold them in place. But here you can cinch these down a little bit tighter and you really don't have that strain on your toes when you're walking. You can rely a little bit more on the straps to help you help you out that way. The footbed and the outsole, they maintain that dual layer of density of EVA foam. So the top layer of EVA is the softer of the two foams. It has a highly cushioned, nice squishy feel when you first slip these on your feet. And then the bottom layer is a more dense EVA foam that also serves as the outsole. So you can see that there's no additional outsole rubber there that they're using. It has a six millimeter offset from the heel to the toe. Now, as I mentioned, it's a bit of a hybrid between the, the uh, version one and version three. So you can see that the footbed, you still sink down into it a little bit like version three, but it's not quite as deep. I would say it falls somewhere in between the two. It's still highly, highly comfortable shoe to wear or a sandal. The uh, footbed itself, I would say is the softer of those three different versions. So it's, it's not oofus quite soft, but it is softer, but they, they maintain a nice bit of arch support there. Now that was really important for me because coming off that tendonitis uh, uh, injury, and it wasn't that long ago, 
I do need a little bit more arch support so my ankle isn't rolling inward because when it does that, it has a tendency to exasperate that uh, tendon or that posterior tibial tendon that I'm having issues with. So these feel absolutely great on my feet. I have to say, spoiler alert, these are now my favorite recovery sandals to wear. Uh, so let's let's talk a little bit about the price. <laughs> that does have a little bit to do with it. Now, I did purchase these with my own money, as I did with all of the different sandals I've talked about here today. And these are the most expensive of the three. These run 80 US dollars, so they're not inexpensive. You can pick up version three for 60 US dollars. And because version one's been out a while, you can pick these up for about 40 US dollars. I do enjoy all three pair. They're there are, there's subtle differences. So if you're looking for a recovery pair of sandals, and that's you know your basic concern, something to slip on your feet after you've finished that more difficult workout, or you're coming home from a hard day uh, of work, maybe you've been on your feet all day, you're a nurse or what have you, and you want to treat your feet to a little bit of comfort, any of these three are going to work for you. The first version is the lighter of the three. They have a lot. Uh, they have a lot going for them. I absolutely love these sandals. I still wear them, uh, especially I wear them outdoors because it's the older of the three pair. So they're probably seeing a little bit more uh, time out on the road, uh, doing errands, that kind of thing. Uh, version three is a slightly more cushioned feeling to them in the footbed. Uh, they're a little bit heavier. They do run maybe you know. I think they're a little cooler than version one. Um, but maybe not as cool as the Lux recovery slides. You know, it has that rubberized feeling to them. And you can you can kind of sweat a little bit having that rubber up against your skin. Now they changed that up a bit. Now with that Aeroprene material, this has got a more cloth-like feeling to it. So you don't have, I don't get that sweat type that you might get with the other material that they use in the other two versions of the shoe. I found it to be absolutely wonderful on foot. They, they have a little bit of ventilation there. I'll try to get a good pick for you and put it up on screen uh, to allow some airflow. But these are by far my favorite pair now of the three. Are they worth an extra $40 over the first version? Ah, you know, if you're just looking for a pair of recovery sandals to help you through, like I said, these are going to get the job done. But if you want slightly more cushion in that footbed and you want to have that sink-in feeling where your heels wrapped up around the material, then version three is a good way to go, but it does gonna cost you $20 more because they retail for 60 US dollars. But if you want the most comfortable of the three pair, you want all of the luxury and the bells and the whistles, then I say go for it. Pick up a pair of the Hoka Aura Lux recovery sandals. I'm glad that I did. All right, so thanks for making it to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, become one another. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.